guess what? This video is sponsored by Clip Flip. Not good fancies. That girl is fancy. I really did not lick my fingers. That's nasty. Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous today. I'm doing well. I am here to do another Ask Miss P, but one thing that I want to include with the new Ask Miss P segment is also tech news. So I might be doing these more frequently. Um, there was some news today. Excited about it? Well, I'm kind of excited about it. We'll see. Have you all heard about Mountain Lion? That is the new software. I just updated to Snow Leopard like a couple months back of last year. <laughs> and I love it. I love Snow Leopard. I was so late in the game, but I love it. Like, I really enjoy the Mac App Store. That's like one of my favorites. And just different little added additions that I love. I think I will go ahead and upgrade to Lion. But I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like Lion. Mountain Lion is coming up really soon this summer. And I know they're going to have a lot of goodies coming up. I know the new iPad is getting ready to drop in March. I'm very, very, very excited about that. I cannot wait. And you know your girl is going to get one. Like, <laughs> duh. New Mountain Lion. This actually mimics a lot of the features that are in the iPad 2. We're going to add notifications. And that's something, do I really utilize that in my iPhone and my iPad 2? Not so much. So notifications, I won't be like, oh my god, let me see. You just drop it down kind of like a droid. Pretty much. That's all that happened. They are adding notes. I'm glad they're doing this for the Mac just because I got sick of using the little post-its and other outside applications. So this will be nice. It is on the iPhone as well as the iPad too. And I utilize that all the time. Plus you can send the notes to yourself. I just love it. It's one of my favorite features for the iPhone as well as the iPad. I know it sounds pretty basic, but I love the note section. I just wish they'd make like different style of notes. That's just one qualm I have with it but of course I know there are plenty of apps for notes. iMessages now this is nice I don't really use iMessages as much as I would like to I do use it sometimes um y'all know my email so you can definitely hit me up on iMessage I definitely respond and it's really really easy I like it I do enjoy iMessage and you'll definitely be able to use it with this mountain lion I think that'll be a really nice addition and the great thing about it you can definitely cross messages now that's the best part it'll come out on all platforms that you have the iMessage on. I think that was really nice. I was looking on Soldier Knows Best, his video, and I saw that he sent a picture. And I was like, ooh, that's dope. So you can send a picture from your computer and you don't have to go through the emailing and all that good stuff. That's something that I'm personally happy about because I post a lot of pictures on my computer and I'm like, God, I can't show somebody this picture because it's not on my phone. So now I can do that. So that's why I'm excited about it personally. Definitely um, hit up the beta version. So I'll definitely download that in a few minutes and I'm definitely going to use that. Um, pretty much this weekend and I'll see how I like it. I'll definitely update you guys on the next Ask Miss P. This one will also have Twitter on it as well. I think that's pretty cool. I have been using the Twitter app that came with the new iPhone update and I really like it. Definitely for tweeting videos. That's one of my favorites and it's really nice but of course I miss Ecophone and the other Twitter apps. I definitely want to find a really good Twitter app so definitely tell me down below. I haven't found one as good as Ecophone just for me personally. So this one will be on Twitter and I think that's pretty nice. Um, We'll see how it runs. I really don't use Twitter on my iPad unless my phone died and I need to use Twitter but I always use Twitter on my phone. I've used Twitter sometimes on my Mac but it's just not the same as my phone so I'm not really like oh for Twitter on the Mac so we'll see. Game Center um that's my thing I don't really use the Game Center as much I don't really have time to play games but hopefully in the future I can play more games so another thing I want you guys to put down below are what are your favorite apps I'd love to know that just so I can you know get some new apps in my life but I have I have been using um, gaming on the Mac and I really enjoy it. That brings me up to AirPlay. That is something I'm really excited about. You all know that I have an Apple TV and I love that thing. And I was like, God, this would be so much better if you could um, view web pages as well as, you know, show people what you're playing. I mean, it's great that you can do iTunes. That's wonderful. But there needs to be so much more. And I'm so glad that they're doing AirPlay. That makes me want to 
upgrade to Mountain Lion even more. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the new Mountain Lion. I mean, it's nothing like, oh my God, I can't believe this. But once you think about it, I think it'll be pretty good. So we'll definitely see. I know I love the new iOS with the iPad as well as the iPhone. So I know with this one, it'll be even better. And I'm very excited to see what they're gonna come up with because I am an Apple fan. Yes, I'm an Apple fan, girl. I will deem myself that. I love anything Apple and I know I'll be getting the iPad 3 when it comes out. What are your thoughts on Mountain Lion? I'd love to know that. Let's go ahead and get into these questions. The first one is Kid AF Swazzy says, what did you do with your iPhone 4? Well, I actually sold my iPhone 4. Um, I posted it on main channel and within like three hours it was sold. So YouTube is awesome. He's loving it. So I'm glad that I could be of service. Next up is from J Cancer 2011 says, hello, Miss P. Love both of your channels. My question is, what is a good laptop? to have this budget friendly thank you in advance for answering I'm gonna be a little biased but I think I'm telling the truth I think you should go ahead and get a MacBook I'm just saying because I've had my MacBook now going on four years I purchased it my freshman year of college and I haven't had any problems except for changing a battery that's it no problems at all I've used PCs before my mom has a PC and you have to update something constantly and her PC was actually more than my MacBook so I'm like what so I really believe that she should get a MacBook. Not just saying that because I'm an Apple fan. It's just I've had no problems with it. You go ahead and get Apple Care and you're fine. I mean they cover pretty much any and everything and that's all I have to say about that one. So definitely get you a MacBook. I know the introduction price is $9.99 and you can even get a refurbished one if you would like. T. Andra says could you review ScreenFlow? I've been trying to see if it is worth the money. You know who you can check out to see great reviews? Macintosh Tips because that's how I got interested with screen flow so definitely check them out um, I know they do updates all the time so definitely check out Macintosh tips they have really really good tutorials on screen flow Ellie 316 says Miss P I've seen people filming using their iPad are they using a specific app to record in or just hit the camera program that was on it out of the box I've tried it and the quality is terrible same with the picture am I doing something wrong or did I get one with the bad camera honey I just have to tell you the iPads camera is not as good as I thought. If you're in this type of lighting, the quality is pretty good. But if you're in low lighting, the quality is horrible. I've never used the iPad 2 for taking pictures or video just because it's just, it doesn't work for me. But the front facing camera sucks. But if you use the rear facing camera on both the iPad 2 as well as this iPhone 4, the quality is really, really good because you can record in HD. I hate that. I hope in the next update or the iPhone 5 or the iPad 3, the quality is great front and back. That's something that I really wish they would do. Back to the curl says, thanks for sharing. Question for volume three. What type of tripod do you use for your iPhone 4S? Thanks again. I do not use a tripod for my iPhone 4S. I really have a steady hand and that's just how it is. I'm not shaking or anything like that. So in my vlog videos, I do not use a tripod. Um, as far as my video camera right here, I just used a Targish tripod and I just purchased that from Walmart and I believe it was like, 10 bucks so that's what I use oh lord bomba dom dom says miss p do you know the official release date for the ipad 3 I want one but I've been putting it off because I heard a new one was coming out soon I do not know I just know it is in March j noel 6 says miss p would you ever switch from apple to android or blackberry <laughs> no no, thank you. It's me, Tasha says, I've been having an issue someone using my vids without asking or giving credit. I was told to do watermarks or screen flows on my vids. My question, I don't have a Mac and I use Window Movie Maker. What programs will do what screen flow and iMovie do? Well, actually, if you're working with Windows Movie Maker, if you put um, your name on the bottom or if you put any titles, you can definitely do the same thing. I use that with iMovie. I just use the title bar and I move it down and I put Miss Peace Tech Talk and that's what I do. I now have a logo for my main channel, but I pretty much just put Miss Peace Tech Talk on the bottom. So I would suggest you do the same thing. This is where you all come in. Do any of you all know about um, any type of software for the PC that can do like watermarks? Definitely place it down below. Jar Jar Bank says, hey, do you have any recommendations on cameras for vlogging? 
Ah, definitely look into the flip. Um, I have my Canon 300HS. That is awesome. Um, iPhones work great. I've seen a lot of people use their phones. So it's really what you have. Vlogging is really spur of the moment. It really depends on what you're using it for. So definitely follow up with me and I can let you know. Naylon I Rhyme says, question, why an Apple notebook versus any other? Why not the MacBook Air? I've really been interested in the MacBook Air recently. I've saw Lil Reg, his video on the unboxing, and I was like, <gasps> can't believe it so you all know I'm actually looking to purchase a new MacBook in the future so I think I might go with the MacBook Air I don't really use the CD DVD feature anyway so I think I might just go with the MacBook Air we'll see Ashley J 19 says hi Miss P would you recommend a flip camera to someone who records natural hair videos and if so what generation um I wouldn't recommend a flip camera for you if you're doing like intricate hair reviews and you want to show it up close and things like that, I would say just go ahead and get you an HD camera or a video camera. That way you can get really up close. You can take high quality video. Um, the flip is really good for vlogging. That's what I would say. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Down below, please list your favorite apps as well as are you excited for this new edition if you have and are you excited for Mountain Lion? And if you have any questions, definitely place them down below. I love doing this Ask Miss P, the tech edition. It's one of my favorites just because I can talk about tech all day. So definitely list your questions down below. I can't wait to see them and I'll be doing this on a weekly basis. So thank you guys so much for asking your question and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Head over to clipflip.com. You can make money and film videos. Now who wouldn't want to do that?